Hey everyone, today we're gonna to make these delicious crispy cauliflower tacos. This is a sheet pan recipe. It has um, my beet orange salsa. It's super tasty. Okay, let's get to it. So the first thing you do is preheat your oven to 425 degrees. For this recipe, I forgot that I was doing a sheet pan recipe and I mixed the cauliflower in a bowl, but this next part you can completely do on the sheet pan. So take a head of cauliflower, we're gonna move the greens and the stem and cut off all the florets. And they're gonna drizzle olive oil over the florets until they're completely coated. Then we're gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice over the florets. And the next thing you're gonna add is the taco seasoning. Just, you know, get it them as evenly coated with the seasoning as you possibly can. So we're gonna transfer that baking sheet to the oven and we're gonna bake the cauliflower for about 25 minutes until it's just really, really fork tender. Okay, so hey, by the way, those of you that have watched my videos for the past nine plus years that I've made videos, you've all commented how much you like my shirts. Well, guess what? Now I have my own designs. You can get this magical as f t-shirt just for your own. So like, be there to check it out on the YouTube channel as you're playing the video. It's right there, easy to order. So while that cauliflower is roasting, this is the perfect time to make that beet salsa. And hey, you know what? Taco lovers, if you love tacos, why don't you give this video a thumbs up, right? Like, love tacos. This recipe is on my channel. You can watch the full salsa recipe there, but here's the highlights for it. I'm gonna just walk you through it for this uh, particular taco recipe. So you're gonna take your beets and your tangerines, mix that with the chopped red onion, some minced jalapeno pepper, some minced garlic, some chopped cilantro, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and a little bit of honey, and then some salt and just mix it all together. And this is a really, really great salsa for many, many reasons. I'm gonna recommend that you make like double, triple the batch. So it's really tasty as a salsa. It's great on these tacos, but you can also take it and mix it with some like, you know, mixed greens and it actually quickly turns into a salad. <laughs> so it's really, really versatile. Okay, so set the salsa aside. We're gonna take the florets out of the oven and remove them from the sheet pan and set them aside. So now we're gonna make our crispy taco shells. So just go ahead and lay the tortillas out flat on the baking sheet. You're gonna take a little bit of olive oil and you're just gonna brush around the rim of the tortillas. Just around the outside of each one on both sides of the tortilla. Hopefully you didn't turn off the oven. Just throw the, maybe don't throw, but put the baking sheet back into the oven and bake it for about five minutes. The tortillas will start to kind of puff up a little bit. You'll see that they'll get crispy. Really, really nice. Super easy way to have a crispy taco shell. When they're done, take them out of the oven. Now we're just gonna divide the seasoned cauliflower between the taco shells. And now we're just gonna to top them off with our favorite taco toppings. So I have some avocado slices, a little bit of shredded red cabbage, some green onion, love green onion on tacos. Go ahead and spoon on that roasted beet and orange salsa and believe me, you're really gonna love it. It's so, so good. Drizzle on some sour cream and then boom, just top it off with some chopped cilantro. So these are the things that I love on top of a taco, but tell me what your favorite taco toppings are. I would love to know. And hey, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe. There you have it. Easy, easy, super plant-based tacos, ready to eat, and it's good. And like I said, that salsa, you wanna definitely make a lot of it. Okay, so some of these ingredients that you're using as toppings, you might only be using a little bit, so you're gonna have leftovers. So cut cabbage, you're gonna wanna use that within three days. So if you shredded the cabbage for these tacos, make sure you use it in three days. Sour cream, it's gonna last you about two weeks after you open that package, so it doesn't quite freeze that well, so you wanna make sure you can use that up in the couple weeks that you have to use it. And then the cilantro, the fresh cilantro, because you're only using a little bit for this recipe, cilantro is best stored like cut flowers. Just put it in a cup with about a couple inches of water at the stems, change it regularly if you need, and it'll actually last up to 10 days that way. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do. I release new videos every single Thursday. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if there's something you wanna see, just drop a comment down below. See you next time.